What's up, bitches? So recently I've gotten the question, hey, Ali, how do you make your Sims taller and shorter? By the way, nobody asked that. I did because I needed a video idea. So The Sims 4 has really upped their realism game except for heights, okay? Not everybody is the same freaking height, okay? I shouldn't see just Sims walking all over the place. Literally, how tall is a Sim? Like, if, if a Sim were to exist, I don't know. What does this look like? Like, 5'5 five, five, five or something? 5'6? Five, Not everybody is five five fucking six okay how tall is a sims for sim six feet tall <laughs> apparently everybody in the sims 4 are fucking giants okay i'm five three holy crap anyway so back to the actual point of the video um so uh, unfortunately this is not for console players just because it is a mod but it's one of my favorite ones because obviously you know making sims taller and shorter just adds a bunch of realism because that's how it is in real life so we have three normal heighted sims here which i'm pretty sure you can do this with toddlers as well this is actually a height slider by Lumia, which I absolutely love Lumia. I, I know with a lot of people, sliders can be kind of scary, but this one is actually really, really simple to use and really, really easy. So all you want, all you're going to want to do is we have a normal looking sim right here, a normal height. You're going to want to click on the neck and then you can go up and you can go down and you can actually go down very, very short and then very, very high. So the only thing with this is it will change the little icon of your sim like it, their head might be cut off a little bit but to me that doesn't matter i don't know about you guys um i, I really couldn't uh g give two shits honestly but if you guys are in a pose player this is actually really cool for some poses like it worked really well which we'll get to in a second um but yeah so i'm gonna make her pretty short i'm gonna make her uh this height for now i don't want her to be too short because then she'll look like a child but we have matthew mills here and i'm gonna make him very tall so the cool thing about this is you don't have to zoom in um um, to make your sim tall all you have to do is click on their neck in any position and i'm gonna have him at the tallest height see how his uh his head is kind of chopped off and so is hers um again i literally do not care so these two actually have a little girl named lucia unfortunately with this mod you can't do the height slider on children or toddlers but it actually does work for teenagers and the really good thing about this is yeah yeah girl i know i like so when i first have a teenager like when i age up a child into a teenager teenager in the sims i put them at the shortest height because it actually kind of reminds me of like a preteen stage okay because not all teenagers again are the same height and they're not all going to be like super tall at first you know you're gonna have you're gonna have a little bit bit of a preteen gal okay or a preteen boy and then as time progresses you can like slowly um make them taller and taller and like for the guys or like girls that end up really tall you can make them like a little bit more taller than the average sim it just adds a little bit more realism like i said some storytelling as well for all my family sims players out there so that's all for the mod showcase of this video but i'm actually gonna hop in game and show you guys kind of what it looks like what some of the interactions look like um and then some poses as well so i will catch up with you guys then all right y'all so we are here in oasis springs this house is actually by semi t love her my queen um but anyway so like i said i do want to kind of show you guys also where i want to show you guys uh the interactions between different houses sims but all right my man does not have a foot we are one-footed people okay so these two are boyfriend and girlfriend so we're gonna do a couple of uh, romantic interactions between these two so i'm going to do uh, let's see go ahead and make a move on our lovely girlfriend so uh, it's pretty evident that uh you know she's shorter and he's taller and it, normally they're supposed to be looking in each other's eyes um but they're not which i don't mind i think it's actually very cute the height difference between these two um but let's go ahead let's try snuggling with her as well so you see everything works out i mean obviously there's gonna be a little bit of like weirdness going on um with the animations but I don't mind. I think it's super cute. Um, we can do one more sitting down kind of thing just to kind of show you what's going on. Um, let's tickle her mercilessly. 
Huh? See, so happen? everything works <laughs> out. It's not really an issue with me. Um, we can go ahead and do some standing up interactions as well. So I have noticed with this that hugs can get kind of weird. It's not really something I mind. Um, but let's watch them hug for a sec. All right. So the hug itself is not that bad. The only thing is Jamie's face is completely smothered in Matthew, which is obviously realistic. I mean, if you're a short person, you know, like me, okay, I'm 5'3", for example. Of course, when you hug somebody who's literally like, I bet Matthew was like 6'5", um, of course, when you hug them, your face is going to be all up in their shoulder and you might not be able to breathe, but that is okay. That is totally, it's fine. It's it's not a big deal. Um, It's actually cute, I would argue. Um, but Let's try caressing her cheek. I want to see what that looks like. All right, let's just, let's stop having a full-blown conversation. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, so look okay all right this works out fine it actually does look like he's caressing her cheek um let's do what do i want to do let's kiss her cheek i actually want to see how that works i know for a fact actually that kissing um with a height difference does is kind of weird see like <laughs> that's not her forehead but you could have like a normal heighted uh woman sim and then have the guy be you know a little taller so it does kind of look better but like i said i don't care it's really up to personal preference let's go ahead and have them do a couple poses if you're unfamiliar with poses um i will link this mod down below but i do want to have them do some couple poses and kind of see how that works out how it looks um i love all my couple poses they're literally so adorable but let's try this one i'm a fan so let's do m1 and then oh okay and then she's gonna be uh m two or f1 sorry my bad let's wait for these two to pose real quick he is looking extra tall yeah so some of the poses oh hi kitty come here baby come on sorry my cat wanted to wanted to stay involved if you haven't met my cat her name's sparrow uh go check out some of my videos um but anyways so some of the poses are not made for this mod of course so it's it's gonna look weird with some of them however there is a pose that i actually use for my thumbnail that worked out great and actually if the sims were the same height it didn't work out at all and it was actually uh the close to me pose back pose pack by catverse um so for her i'm gonna do f1 for this one he is going to be uh f2 m1 oh my god why am i literally i am incompetent but see like this works out great because if if these two were the same height it would make no sense because she'd be kind of looking up at this guy and shit so it really does depend on what pose pack you do choose i'm sure that most pose packs will address address the height factor and if you need a mod for it but i definitely love these poses so much they are absolutely for freaking adorable the thumbnail pose is actually from this pack that's gonna be it from me guys let me know if you guys enjoyed and if you download this mod let me know how it works out for you i love it personally i especially love anything realistic um so this mod was definitely an a plus for me but i will catch y'all later bye